broken now. My calves are weeping. showers every morning for a few months now. I just wanted to say that because I need everyone to comment and tell me that I am the hardest person alive because I know there are like maybe some scientific health benefits, but I haven't done any research. I just started doing it because I was like, oh, that sounds like something that's gonna be hard and I want to challenge myself and like starting every day with a challenge and overcoming it gives me momentum for the rest of the day. My goal every morning when I take the shower is to have like zero facial reaction to the cold water to just like, if someone saw just my face, they would think I was just chilling, you know? The other update is that I'm hiking Mailbox Peak today. In my opinion, the hardest hike in like the Seattle metro area. It has over 4,000 feet of vertical gain and it's only about three miles long, so it's pretty steep. We're in a rebuilding phase. So this injury took me out of running for about six weeks and it just makes sense to have hiking be the first stimulus we reintroduce because it's the lowest impact. I am going to be doing this hike alone. <laughs> I've taken people on this hike before, uh, namely Will and Randy and they actually were mad at me about it for months. So I'm gonna hike it like moderately hard. And yeah, it should be fun. I'm just gonna finish these oats and then I will get going. Always bring sandals for after the hike. Rule number three. I forgot to grab my coffee. Abort mission, abort, immediately abort. We're going back in. All right, made it to mailbox. Walk into the trail. Very ready to go, yay, yes, let's go, yes. <laughs> All right, time to get started. Um, I'm gonna vlog sporadically throughout this, but I'm going pretty hard, so probably won't vlog that much. Five minutes later. So the bottom part of this is not that steep. So I'm basically just speed walking because I'm not running at all today because I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm just walking fast. It's getting steeper though, which is good. Working now. a little bit my calves are weeping above the clouds check Thank you 
Stride for sponsoring today's video. Stride is a little pod that you put on your shoe and it provides a bunch of data about power, leg spring stiffness, lower body stress score, elevation gain. It's a really great tool, especially for someone like me who is rebuilding back from injury and does a lot of training uphill and on the trails. If you're also looking to build up your training or work toward a certain goal, the Stride app provides individualized training plans based on the number of days you want to run per week, your power data from the Stride pod, and your goals. All of the runs and workouts are based off of power as opposed to pace, which is really cool and easy to track using Stride. But they also provide drills, stretching, strength, plyometrics, recommendations. And so if you're looking for a training plan, I would highly recommend those. Now let's get to the descent. walk down five and a half miles because I'm taking the gradual way down to reduce the impact. I love running downhill. This is taking like literally all of my self-control to not just blast down this. Injuries suck so much, but I'm feeling very positive because I had no pain on the way up and I went up in 58 minutes, which is way faster than I've ever gone. I've I've also never tried to go fast, so overall really good, very fun. My calves are weeping. Just awesome training. It's just so annoying to have to do this. I don't mean to complain. I just I sometimes feel like I'm living in a catch-22 because I have so much confidence in my ability, my determination, and my love for the sport, but it's like I can't handle the load that's necessary to get the most out of myself. And I can't use all of that motivation and determination and put it into training because every time I do, I get injured and it just sucks. But the thing is that if I can like stay on the path I'm on, really take care of myself, then eventually I'll be able to harness that fully and not get injured. And it's gonna be the most incredible thing. Just to be safe, every one mile I am walking backwards downhill. It's supposed to take pressure off the shins. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna stop videoing now so that I don't injure myself preventing injuries. Done. 